What is up guys, how's it going today? My name is SarahTube and today we're going to be talking a little bit about what you might want to look into investing for for the Raids 2 Theater of Blood coming out soon in Old School RuneScape. Now, we don't really know if it's coming out soon, but we know it is coming out sometime in 2018. And I think they did say early 2018, I'm not quite sure, but I thought they might have said January 2018, but that would be a little much I think because of the OSRS mobile they are also developing but without further ado we're just gonna get right into it I've looked at a couple items today and I found some that I think could have a lot of potential moving forward now first off we're looking at the Din's Bulwark here now if you invested in the Din's Bulwark when it was around 6 mil you would be up a lot right now it was kind of around 7 mil but you would be up to about 9 mil right now so you'd make some serious profits couple mil gain there but uh, I made a video a while back and if you were to invest in there as well you would have made a little bit of extra money not a ton because you know I was talking about investing like right about at 8 8 mil ish and now it's at 9 mil I believe but uh, anyway I feel like the Din's Bulwark could have a lot of potential. Now, you should be in careful in investing in this item because it is at a pretty high price right now, but I think you should keep it on your watch list for the next month or so because, honestly, the Din's Bulwark doesn't really have a lot of use, and I could really see them implementing a use for it in Raids 2. That would make the price spike a lot because people would be demanding the heck out of the Din's Bulwark as soon as the Raids came out. So, uh, this is an item that doesn't really have a use yet in RuneScape, and I think it has a lot of potential. So, Definitely keep this on your watch list. I would say any bill, any, sorry, excuse me, any buy under 9 mil is probably a strong buy. So you might want to look into that. Next up, we have the Elder Mall here. And it recently got a pump, I believe, if we look at the quarter pricing uh, for the Revenants update. As you can see, got a quick pump during the Revenants update. I think this was uh, Revenants or something around here. Uh, let's check uh, either way um, it did go up whether it was during November or December or whatever it was But uh, as you can see it is at a pretty low price relative to where it normally is It's actually all like it's pretty much at an all-time low So I'm thinking the Elder Mall might be a really good investment right now Especially moving forward with the game because a uh, if less people start going to Revenants more people might see that and start buying the Elder Mall and stuff like that to make it better for them Second of all, I could see the Elder Mall being used in the new Theater of Blood as well. Again, it really doesn't have a use outside of PvP, besides for maybe Tecton in the, you know, the Chambers of Xerix. I'm not exactly sure on that, I'm not the best person to ask, but uh, it's definitely at a really low price right now. It's at its lowest it's really ever been, so uh, I really see a lot of upward potential for the Elder Mall, so definitely look into that as well if you are sitting on a lot of money to invest with. Next up, again, we have the Dragon Harpoon. I've talked about this a couple of times before, but with the recent crash in shark pricing and just fish food in general, uh, the Dragon Harpoon has also taken a hit. It actually double bottomed at about 4.4 mil and then 4.3 mil. So uh, usually when an item double bottoms like this, it is a sign of upward price movement. As you can see, I am looking at the, the yearly view, so uh, it's most likely going to go up in price. Anything under 5 mil, I would say, is a good buy for this item. But uh, again, definitely do your own analysis on it. As you can see, the quantity traded has uh, drastically, well, I don't know if this is accurate, but uh, it, it has been up a lot, but it is going to probably get dumped. So you might see a little bit more downward movement before you might want to buy in. Now, definitely an item you would want to look out for. I think it has a lot of potential. Not exactly sure in if in the, excuse me, I pulled that up by accident, if it's going to have a lot of potential in the, the new Theater of Blood or not, but uh, it definitely could have a lot of potential around that update since people will be buying and selling more sharks around there anyway because it's a raid coming out. So uh, next up, we're going to look at the Dragon Claws here. Honestly, a lot of potential in the Dragon Claws. I think it just bottomed out at about 71 mil. Uh, that's the quarter view. The yearly view, it's still at a very low price. 69 mil, about 71 mil-ish. Looking like it's a really good buy, really strong buy right now uh, compared to these prices. It has crashed a lot and did make a little bit of point progress back up and recently crashed again. But as you can see, this movement we have, uh, you know, in October through December was a very stable, very steady movement upward. And I think we are likely to see a similar trend moving forward here. Uh, again, you know, it's your investment. They're going to keep coming into the game. So uh, you have to just determine if you think people are going to want more Dragon Claws or not. Uh, again, I don't think this will be used in the new uh, Theaters of uh, Theater of Blood update, but uh, it still definitely could be pumped around that with a uh, hype in PvP or something like that, which I definitely think there's more PvP updates coming. So I think Dragon Claws are a strong buy under 70 mil or 71 mil looking at that. And moving on to our final item here, quick video today, but Guthin's armor set, I think this definitely has a lot of potential with the Theater of Blood update because 
Guthin's armor, as you know, gives you health pack if you wear the whole set, so it's pretty much like having a healing armor set in your inventory. You don't have to bring extra food and stuff like that if you can heal up with Guthin's. Who knows if in the Theater of Blood we're going to need that or not, but it's definitely a pretty high potential item. It's at a pretty low point. Uh, it lowest was December 13th. It was at 3.9 mil. Now it's up to like 4.1 mil, but definitely a lot of upward movement potential. I mean, we've seen it at 5.3 mil around bigger updates, so um, regardless of that, they had the Wilderness Rejuvenation, which I guess for some reason pumped uh, the Guthans armor set, but it definitely could have a lot of potential in the update, depending on the mechanics of the new raid or not, but it's already at a low, so it definitely would want to be an item you would look out for. Anyway, guys, hopefully this video helped out. I know it was a little bit quicker than my other ones. Uh, definitely look into these items to invest in. If you've got a lot of money, you could potentially make a lot coming up. Markets are pretty low in RuneScape right now, and as we get towards spring and summer comes about, more people are going to be playing the game, and you can really make a lot of bank off of that. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did, subscribe if you want more content like this, and I'll see you all next time.